trying to make a quick little video of an update on the rabbit. I haven't had a lot of time to work on it lately at work, so uh, let me go over some things real quick. So I had a bad exhaust leak. Um, I got the manifold welded, this little crack that I had. I replaced the wastegate gaskets and a flange and a downpipe before the flex joint, and I still could hear an exhaust leak, and then the fumes got worse and worse as time goes on, and it was actually getting into the cabin of the car. So bad to the point where I couldn't drive my daughter around like that anymore. I had to buy a daily, which is the Mark IV. You guys may, may have seen. Um, so yeah, I thought it was just a manifold gasket, and it is messed up, but it was not all. It's actually a lot worse than I expected, so check this out. This manifold gasket's multi-layered. It broke apart into a few pieces. The rest of it's down there into the car. Cracked right here, cylinder number one. Uh, T3 flange from turbo manifold to turbo is cracked as well. And here's the manifold. I'm gonna try to make this brief because I don't have a whole lot of space on my phone anymore, apparently. Um, there's a bunch of things I don't like about this design. This is the C2 Motorsports stainless steel log manifold. Uh, they did redesign it a couple times, and their last version, I believe, was cast. I spoke to a few people that said they did not have issues with it cracking on them, but I still wouldn't trust them, especially this design. They went from a solid flange, and they cut some slits in it to give it some more breathing room with the expansion when getting hot and, and contracting when cooling down. It still didn't help. Um, before I show you the damage on the manifold, which here's, here's the weld that I had fixed, and uh, it, it worked just fine. Unfortunately, it didn't fix all my problems, but this is one thing I don't like about it. Now, this is uh, for the SAI, SAI cars. Um, SAI, basically, CBUA and I think BGQ are gonna be SAI cars. This port from the cylinder head goes in here. This is a riser they installed on their flange to relocate the line. It goes up and it goes over to the combi valve and recirculates back to the intake. Now, I'm sure that when they installed this manifold, C2 Motorsports designed and installed a kit. I'm sure when they did it, they had the OEM gasket here. There's an OEM metal gasket that goes here for the OEM uh, SAI line. But on my car, when I got it, it was not here. The bolts were missing, gasket was missing, exhaust fumes are just blowing all over the um, in, inside of the flange right here. And uh, the flange also warped. You know, maybe it's because they cut the slits, but I'm sure it's for many reasons. Uh, the flange is warped. It's pretty flush here in the center. That kind of bows out like a banana on the outsides. So even if the gasket was here, I want to make I want to make this known. This is such a so warped that even if the gasket was here, it wouldn't have made a difference. Because when I looked at it before I took it off the car, it was about an eighth inch of a gap, about that big. So enough where it would still leak. Over here it leaked as well. It breached the gasket and that's why it broke over here, cylinder number one. Um, so yeah, I gotta get the flange resurfaced and I'll show you where the cracks are. Now, since I got the car last September, September 2019, it's been 10 months. I've driven about 20, 25,000 miles or something like that. It has it had one crack in it that I fixed. Now it has not one or two, it has three cracks. So with this turbo manifold being on the car for less than, less than 55,000 miles, it has been cracked in four, four different places. All right, so here's one. One of the worst ones here at the base of cylinder number two. 80% around the, the runner where it meets the flange is cracked. All right. And then you have a really small one right here. It's really hard to see, but it's right in there. Right there. That's a very small one, and then the worst one. It's right here. It's about two and a half inches in length, I think. Nice beefy crack right there. Where the, uh, the center piece of the manifold meets where the flange goes. To support the weight of the turbo. So yeah, I gotta. I'm gonna. I'm gonna most likely send the manifold up to um, Adam at Nothing Leaves Stock in Pennsylvania. They're big on 2.5s up there. Uh, they're gonna resurface the flange. They're gonna clean it up, grind down the um, welds, especially where the cracks are, and put some nice thick welds in there to hopefully seal it back up and get it to be a little stronger than normal. And I also want to try to ceramic coat it for good measure, hoping. 
that that'll keep the expansion from being too extreme and cracking it in the weak points. If this cracks again, I'm gonna have to go with a different manifold, which means I'll have to get a downpipe remade, turbo inlet remade, and uh, the charge pipe modified or remade as well. It's a whole lot of money right there. So for anyone that's gonna turbocharge our 2.5 soon, or if you currently have a C2 manifold, um, you know, think about getting a different one. SPA manifold on the bottom end for being cheap, around 400 bucks is a cast iron manifold. The packaging is similar to this, but it's, it's cheap and it's not known to really have any issues. It's a pretty strong turbo manifold. Um, another way you could go, now Blue Water Performance, they don't list them on their website anymore, but I believe they still make turbo manifolds upon request, and they're around 700 bucks. They're similar to this, but they're beefier, and I haven't heard any issues with them. Also, you have JDL Auto Design. They're stainless steel tubular top mount manifolds. They're a thousand bucks to thirteen hundred bucks. They're pretty expensive, but that's the best way to go. Um, so yeah, and they also sell a downpipe with that and some other pieces. So I gotta make this quick. That'll be the end of the video. Short update for getting the rabbit back on the road. So stay tuned. See you guys soon.